What's going on my curious bunch of health fanatics? Welcome back to the channel. Before I continue, I just need to send a quick message to the Google moderators. We are not selling any product or service. This video is not an advertisement for any product or service. We are simply sharing health science news. Okay, let's get into it. Exercising is a great way to look after your body and help protect against chronic diseases, as well as increasing your life expectancy and reducing the chance of developing dementia or other facets of cognitive decline. But there is also something else that appears to be just as important as exercise in order to ward off various forms of cognitive decline. So what is this magic ingredient? And without this magic ingredient, is it possible that people who exercise can develop cognitive decline similar to people that don't exercise? Well, the science is saying yes. Without this magic ingredient, people who exercise may get the onset of cognitive decline much faster than people that don't exercise. And that is a major statement. So what is this magic ingredient? Well, a recent study showed that people who exercise regularly but don't get enough sleep, and let's say less than six hours a night, have a faster rate of cognitive decline than those who sleep more and exercise less. So think about what that means for you for a second. If you exercise more but aren't sleeping enough, this paper suggests you may deteriorate faster than someone not exercising. Sleep is the magic ingredient here. Now, usually exercise would protect against cognitive decline, but in this instance, exercise with less sleep, less than six hours, induce faster cognitive decline towards conditions such as dementia. This is kind of groundbreaking and leads up to various mythologies here. For example, if you are planning on going out for an all-nighter or having friends over till the wee hours, maybe do not exercise on that particular day. Or train early, have an hour or two sleep in the afternoon, and then have your friends over. But this research clearly shows that exercise should always be paired with good sleep. Days you know you cannot sleep well after exercise, consider making that an exercise-free day. Also note that alcohol is terrible for sleep and also interferes with the liver's ability to process dietary protein to rebuild muscle and most likely also interferes with the delivery of amino acids and other nutrients to the brain. So days you exercise where your body wants to regenerate from the damage that exercise may cause to muscles and joints, go easy on alcohol and ensure you get enough sleep. This study was conducted with 9,000 adults over the course of 10 years as part of the English Longitudinal Study of Aging, funded by the UK government and the US National Institute on Aging. Participants underwent a workup initially, then follow-up interviews and cognitive testing every two years. The paper says, and I quote directly here, those with higher physical activity and short sleep had faster rates of cognitive decline, end quote. Exercise provides benefits and those who are in their 50s to 60s who exercise regularly but slept less than six hours a night actually experienced a decline in their cognitive health as much as those who didn't exercise at all. This means that physical activity alone is not enough to ward off cognitive decline and that good sleep must accompany moderate to vigorous forms of exercise. Of course, those that did sleep well and exercised fared better than all other groups. So keep exercising, but pair it with good sleep. And if cognitive decline runs in your family, then good exercise and good sleep should be at the top of your anti-aging toolkit. We already know that if we're not getting enough quality sleep, then we increase our risk of things like stroke and heart disease. And if you're intentionally getting less than six hours a night, it might be time to rethink that decision and if you're having any trouble sleeping it's worth seeing a specialist. For the best sleep try to keep your bedroom cool between 64 degrees Fahrenheit or around 17 degrees Celsius. Always chat with your doctor about health data you see online. Hit that thumbs up button, fist bump the subscribe button or face the consequences of your actions. Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always stay young and stay vibrant.